welcome again to another My Wise Guys video and today we're going to discuss on how to add skins or otherwise known as styles to the V Bulletin. Um, we have our test site here, it's called Telecom and uh, go ahead and log in with your admin ID and um, go to the bottom and get into the admin section. In the admin section, go ahead and log in. Okay, uh, the styles are under styles and templates. Style manager, you'll actually see the styles. I only have one style, which is the default style that came with vBulletin. Um, I downloaded a style and it's called tech forms. And uh, so let's go ahead and install that. All you do is you download the style that you like and extract, go ahead and open it up, which I extracted it and now it's in its default thing called tech forums. Now you just grab the root like this tech forms folder, not the one where the XML file is, but the one below that. So here, and you just put that in the root of your V bulletin. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And if you look at my previous videos, I actually created a XAMPP server and htdocs. And there is my you know where my current uh, V Bulletin installation is. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. Oops, I shouldn't do that. I should go here, go edit, go ahead and paste, and you should see Tech Forms now under there. And we do. It's right there. So uh, the next thing to do is go back to your V Bulletin admin, go to Style Managers, and say Download Upload Style. I'm going to browse to the XML file we saw. So let me go to I have it on my shared folder here and it's under source files web server v bulletin skins tech forums and we eventually got there so there it is I'm going to open that and I'm going to show you an error that happens uh, by default. If we do an import, it says your version is 384, but the file version that was created is in 381. So we're going to go back. And how to correct that is you just change this, ignore the style version. Use style file even if it was created by a different version of Ableton, which is what we're going to do here. If we do import now, whoops, I guess it would help if I browsed to the file again and then just click import and it now is imported. Now another thing that we need to do is go to the vBulletin options and make sure that the user can select. We're going to do this just for the purposes of testing right now but you may want to lock in a user to a certain one to use. Right now it's locked in or it's default style but I could lock in and say the tech forms is the default. But just for testing purposes, I want to make sure this is set to yes. This allows users to change their styles from default style to tech forms and vice versa. So we're going to go ahead and save. Now if we go to the vBulletin home, you'll see that it is the def this is the default style. Uh, you know, it's that bluish color. But down here in the corner, you can change the style. And we're going to change it to tech form just so you can see what it does. See, it changes it. Everything's exactly the same. It's just a different style. So that concludes on how to change a style for vBulletin. Hopefully it's helpful. Again, this is my wise guys signing off.